everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Capricorn. How are you guys, Capricorn? So I am going to use, as you can see, charms this week. I'm also using a Lenormand deck to clarify. See what we can pull out for your energies. This could be any aspect of your life. Take it how it best resonates. Capricorn. There we go. Yeah, so someone's thinking things through, becoming decisive. This is often an energy of someone who rushes in and then backs out of a situation because they didn't think it through. Okay, so we'll see what that's all about. Because of the way the card is facing. Yeah. yeah this is someone looking, taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective. Someone here could be changing their mind about something here. Nice. Hopefully it's positive. Yeah, we have justice. So it has to do with being fair. Maybe someone's rushed into a relationship, maybe in the past, and then backed out, okay, or changed their mind. But it's a change of perspective about justice, balance, marriage, commitment, and being fair. Someone may be rethinking something here. Yeah, so there's definitely some kind of judgment or decision. And I see the hierophant, yeah. Someone's about to make a decision. It has to do with marriage or commitment. So because the way the card is placed, it's someone's changed perspective, I feel, to do with marriage or the fact of being fair, okay? It's energy of a person going within, little introspection. Someone here may have made a decision that wasn't fair, okay? It could be someone who didn't treat you right, but it has to do with someone having faith, Okay, someone having faith and definitely marriage and commitment, but there's a judgment. Now, this could be a reconciliation, but it has to do with someone shedding and releasing, healing all that energy. Okay, of something from the past they rushed in. So it's a person thinking things through. So let's see what this person's up to. I see Libra, Taurus, strong Libra energy here. Pisces. So it's definitely an energy of growing roots, someone feeling a little, someone may have left someone out in the cold, but this is kind of like hermit energy, okay? But you can see there's still some growth here. So there's, has to do with something solid, uh, something to do with home, okay? It's a lot of, you know, something to do with history and the path. It has to do with someone's path. The path that someone is on is changing. So it's an energy of someone changing their course, changing direction here. Because we have a person who maybe feels a little left out in the cold, but it has to do with roots, history, someone's path. Very interesting. Let's have a look at the hanged man. Why is this here? Yeah, so you can see the moon. There's been a little confusion, maybe a secret. Someone may have some kind of a secret to do with their past, okay? where they were maybe left out in the cold, but it's kind of like hermit energy. So there, it's temporary. It's a five. Okay. Someone here definitely is changing course. I feel it's energy of someone wanting to put down roots. And I do see possibly a little fear of commitment because of a situation that's possibly happened before. Let's have a look at justice. Yeah. So we have someone being very wise. Justice and balance being fair. It's wisdom. It's about seeing something. This is someone seeing things clearly you see things clearing up they're taking a pause and looking at it this is actually very positive let's have a look at judgment why is judgment here yeah so we have this is kind of like an emperor energy this person is loyal dependable structured disciplined okay so this is someone about to make a decision so there's a decision this person made before See, it looks like they're you know, taking a little moment, some introspection going within. Looks like a fear of commitment because of a decision they made before, okay? But this person's actually loyal and dependable. Yeah. Structured, definitely financially stable. They're definitely a leader. This is someone taking the lead. Very nice. Yeah. You got a person seeing things clearly. It's their inner wisdom. It's like they already know, okay? person knows something here yeah it has to do with a, a feminine energy so they know something they're looking for clarity now this is often just a person who checks someone out 
something that they don't know. They're looking for clarity. See, things are kind of hidden with the moon, but they're wise. So I feel this is somebody who could be quite mature. Okay, their inner wisdom. It's like they know, I feel. It has to do with marriage and commitment. So they're seeing things different, though, because I feel they're, you know, like they're just kind of taking that moment. I feel someone's changing how they feel about marriage and commitment. Yeah, there's something to do with travel, you know, traveling and movement. It's an energy of someone's ship coming in here. But this is also an energy of transition, some kind of change. See, they're taking a little trip down memory lane. There's some reminiscing here. Let's have a look at the Hierophant. Ooh, this could be someone from a distance who wants to see you. But it's like someone's distancing themselves from another situation where they're thinking things through, becoming more decisive. See, this is a person who rushed in, I feel, to a situation when they weren't sure. Okay, they weren't sure and they rushed in. Now this person's more mature, they're wiser, they see things clear. So very nice. I feel this person is definitely thinking about uh, being fair marriage and commitment i feel they're taking a little trip down memory lane here but this transition is interesting yeah there's been some obstacles these are obstacles challenges history uh, structure this person's very structured okay you can see with that cross the crosses this person bears yeah they definitely have kept something to themselves let's have a look at the hierophant yeah, this person, oh yeah, this person's definitely someone who, now they could, this is often an energy, it describes a person, okay, something to do with their hair, uh, but I also feel this is someone who's uh, definitely grounded, so there's earth and he grounded, determined, okay, very solid, so there's something about this energy of being solid and reliable, so there's definitely a, uh, an earth energy here, yeah. Yeah, this person's a hard worker. They're working hard. They're dependable. They're loyal. Okay. So I, I definitely can feel that energy. Now, I see another, that other person here. Is there not? I thought there was another. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah. So there's two people. Two people the same. You see, this person's made a decision. They made some kind of a decision. And they're very wise, okay? They're making a wise choice. See, they didn't choose wisely before. They're choosing wiser now. So I feel what you have is things clearing up. Someone's just taking a pause, gaining clarity. So it definitely could be a fear of commitment, but it looks more like this person's... We have a couple here. We have two people here, okay? Commitment, two people being on the same page. Two people, loyal, dependable, practical, sensible, both hardworking. Okay, so this is an interesting energy. I feel there's someone here. Now, they could be someone at a distance making some kind of a decision. Okay, they definitely have some crosses to bear. So there's some kind of burdens. Something this person feels burdened with to do with decisions. They have a lot of weight on their shoulders, but this looks like some kind of partnership. Let's have a look at this you know, dependable person. Hard working. Yeah, so it's an energy of clearing something up. See, it's an energy of someone who may have brushed something kind of under the carpet, kept it to themselves. So it's an energy of someone doing some shadow work, becoming clear. But I, I feel there's also some romantic energy here too. Yeah, you know, I, I like this 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 broom, this wheel, that means a cycle's over. This person's clearing things up from their past, clearing things out, okay, gaining clarity and insight. So I like this because I feel this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. They have a lot of burdens. It has to do with burdens, taking responsibility, some kind of judgment they made. See, it's, this person wants to do the right thing. They're, they're definitely dependable and loyal, but they're looking at this feminine energy of someone who they see that way. Someone who pulls the weight, easing the burdens. You see, I see a partnership. Oh yeah, we've got love. There's love. There it is. You see, the emotions are starting to flow. This is someone who may have brushed something under the carpet. Okay, but they're clearing things up, clearing things out. 
And I feel this person's ready for love. It has to do with doing the right things. So this is someone who didn't do something right in the past, or they didn't go about it the right way, or maybe they weren't fair. Okay? But they're wiser. Definitely mature. Yeah, see, solid, reliable. See, it has to do with security. See, feeling safe and secure. It has to do with security. Could be financial, but I feel this is someone who's definitely reliable. And I feel if it's yourself as this feminine energy, they see you that way. You see, they see you that way. Someone who's just right. See, this is someone who made a choice. They rushed in, changed their mind. So why did this person change their mind? Yeah, so you can see this has been a bit of a struggle, but this is financial. This is about financial energy prosperity. This is an uphill battle, but this person has overcome this. So there's obstacles that have been overcome. They're clearing things out, clearing things up. Beautiful. Yeah, see, this is something to do with money and finances and maybe they kept it to themselves. But they are working very hard. They're dependable, very hard working. Now, this could be a person who's quite solid, maybe even muscular, okay, stocky. Um, they definitely are someone who's planting their feet firmly on the ground. But this has to do with love, okay? This, this is, there's definitely love here. Yeah, someone maybe it could be someone here who loved you, kept it to themselves. Maybe they rushed in and changed their mind. It's something to do with the past energy. Uh, look at the abundance. See, look at this. This is this is an energy of uh, some kind of gathering, a lot of people, but there's a lot of abundance here. This person's definitely in love. Now, I don't know if this is someone who's has a lot of money and finances. Maybe they kept it to themselves, but I feel it's a change of perspective. They're seeing things different, seeing things from each other's perspective. I feel we have two people who weren't on the same page, okay? Because this person may have been keeping something to themselves. Yeah, let's have a look at that moon. Why is that moon here? Yeah, see, this is someone navigating the stars, finding their way, their path. This is someone ready to go down a new path, their hopes and dreams. See, this is someone here who sees someone who's just right. It's everything they could ever want, but they're navigating it. See this path that they're on? So it looks like a change of direction, a change of course, a change of my, their mind here. And it could have to do with relocation. Okay, someone's just navigating their way. And there's definitely love here. I see a lot of abundance, someone feeling very positive, working very hard. Yeah, love, romance, a fresh new start, uh, innocence, lovely, beautiful, beautiful energy. Tell me more about this star energy, this person navigating. Yeah, see, they've had some fears, things that are hidden. See, things that are hidden within themselves. And it could be a fear of commitment, but I feel it has to do with whether they're doing the right thing more than anything. They're sensible. You see, a very sensible person, whether this is right for them, this path they're on. So they have things to overcome, see? This is this an energy of burdens. I mean, it's an energy of secrets, things that are hidden or just fear. Okay, maybe even overcoming some kind of depression even here. But this person's just navigating their way, their hopes and dreams. So I feel you got a person who's thinking differently about commitment to marriage and the path they're on. It's like they're changing their path, a change of course. Yeah, they're definitely overcoming obstacles. They've had a lot of obstacles in their path. Okay, you see that, see? And it may be even blocked emotions for a while because of a situation. But this is the path. This person's choosing a new path, a new way to go about things here. Wow. Tell me about the justice with these three owls, the wisdom. Yeah, the key. Something to do with the key. Now the key is the key to success. Something they've kept secret under lock and key, okay? But I, I see justice here. I, let's grab a charm for that. Let's have a look at the key. Yeah. So there's definitely a good omen, positive energy. This person is definitely trying to think positive to do with their hopes and dreams. Is marriage and commitment. There it is. So there's definitely an energy of romance. 
I feel it has to do with the key to someone's heart. I feel someone here has kept it a secret because I feel they've done some shadow work. They've taken some time to go within and now they're seeing things from a different. I feel this is someone who feels they can overcome anything because we have the bear here. You see, someone who, you can see this energy of Taurus, the bear, somebody here who is solid, reliable, dependable. You see, it's something to do with money and finances. They've definitely got their feet planted firmly on the ground. So, yeah. This is really positive. Like, I, there's definitely romance and love. Uh, could be a fresh new start. Could be a reconciliation for some. But I just see so much love, so much abundance here. And I also see an energy of a gathering. So a gathering could be a gathering of friends and family. Um, the three owls is also like-minded, okay? With the hierophant being on the same page. It has to do with having faith. This person has faith, okay? It has to do with faith. Now, maybe it's somebody who wasn't faithful, okay? Maybe it's been bothering them or they were in a situation like that. So whatever it is, they're overcoming it. So there's definitely a shedding, a, a massive healing here. Some of you, this is definitely a reconciliation. Yeah, this person's had a dark cloud hanging over them. They've had this dark cloud, okay? Maybe even went through some kind of depression, but it's lifting. There's this change now. It's an energy of moving forward. There's absolutely love here, though. What a nice, yeah, it's an energy of good luck. This person has some good luck, uh, good fortune. So whatever it is, I feel it has the justice and balance, the key to success, the key to a successful relationship is being loyal, partnering up, two people working together here, it's being on the same page, having faith. This is someone who needs someone to have faith in them, I feel. Okay, but if it's yourself here, is that feminine energy, Capricorn, okay? practical sensible see it's two people taking time to get to know it. i actually feel there could be relocation here moving some kind of a decision it has to do with being secure okay uh, very grounded very secure energy this person knows that someone needs security so it looks like financial security stability absolutely yeah there could be security there could be children involved maybe a couple single parents here this could actually be a couple. So I do see a child. I see a little boat. Someone just kind of going with the flow here. But it's playful, youthful. Okay, so I actually, and I do see innocence. Okay, something to do with innocence. Yeah, so it's an energy of just stability maybe for a child. But it's just a youthful energy a lot of times. Someone playing with a little boat in the water. Just kind of going with the flow. I feel there's happier times ahead. Because that dragonfly's here. It's a good omen. And definitely I see this this rose, you see, the rose, something, there's definitely someone having romantic feelings. Some of you got a person who's just felt nothing would ever go in their favor. It's like every time this person tried to make a move, see, to do with their following their heart, their hopes and dreams, um, something always got in the way, okay? There was always blockages, some kind of obstacle to overcome, but I see two people overcoming anything here. And it could be because there's children involved. I see a fresh new start, love, romance. Yeah, I see history, growing roots, family. Some kind of decision to set down roots. This is nice. Yeah. And then we have, yeah, there we have it. See, we, got, we have a partnership. Now, this could be a work situation. It absolutely could because someone here is working really hard to overcome financial uh, challenges, obstacles. They definitely have a lot of weight on their shoulders, burdens, okay, financially. But we have some good luck coming in with this good omen. I see two people making an agreement or partnering up. Now, this could be marriage, commitment, okay, someone about to make a decision to commit. I'm going to grab some charms now. Let's have a look at this commitment energy. Yeah, someone taking a step forward, putting their best foot forward, stepping into the future. Nice. This could be the next step in a partnership, a relationship. Yeah, I see loyalty, a little dog. Okay, so there's something to do with friends and loyalty or even pets. <laughs> I see a horse. Somebody else got those two together. Um, so this energy of moving forward, see, moving forward things, things starting to speed up here. I see the letter S. Someone could be moving south or it's initial of a place or 
someone's initial. Yeah, so there's a sewing machine. So sewing the seeds for the future, putting a step forward. Nice. There's that good omen. Lots of good luck coming in. Okay, Capricorn. So I don't know who this person is. Like I say, I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, strong Libra. So that has to do with being fair, balance, commitment. Okay, things being fair. And the Hierophant, Taurus. And the letter C. Now let's have a look here at this this person, this hard-working person. This is someone working very hard. Strict schedule, structure, see? Discipline, self-discipline, routine. You see? They're just moving forward, one foot in front of the other. Who is this person? Yeah, so this is someone definitely balancing things out. There's someone taking a little pause. See, they're seeing things from a different perspective. Someone's coming out of a dark period where they felt a lot of burdens, okay? Um, a lot of fear, a lot of darker kind of energy, but the cloud, th there's a shift, some kind of good luck coming, okay? Yeah, there we have a call, a communication. So I do see the need for balance. This is definitely an energy person who's very balanced, balancing their time, their schedule, okay? Finding more balance. This is balance between two people because we've got these two energies very much the same. One's a masculine, one's a feminine. I see a partnership. And yeah, we have a great big heart, somebody with a really big heart. See, there's love. That love is here. This is somebody who's definitely, you know, there's love. And they're clearing things up. Okay, clearing things out. I, I see someone clearing things out of a home, maybe a past relationship, baggage, and just letting it go. Because things are clearing up. That's the cloud, see? Yeah, I see love. I see a lot of financial abundance, prosperity, and a fresh new start. But I also see love and romance. So the letter B, the letter I. Yeah. Somebody's making a decision. Now, this could be a communication, a call. Let's have a look at this romance. Fresh new start. Yeah, so someone slow and steady wins the race. Definitely Taurus energy for some of you. This, uh, this is somebody who's moving forward. They're solid. They're grounded. They're practical. They're moving forward. I see a lot of abundance coming in, and there's the star. Someone achieving their hopes and dreams. So I, I see marriage commitment uh, for some of you here. And it could be a work commitment, having to move and relocate. But it looks like a couple or two people moving in together. Someone may have to relocate. Yeah, this person's shedding. See, shedding the skin, that's judgment too. Shedding ev nothing, everything that no longer serves, okay? So a beautiful healing energy. Yeah, wow. So someone's just figuring things out, kind of doing it as they go, just being calm and grounded. Tell me about the good luck. Yeah, see? Charge, full steam ahead. This person's feeling much more enthusiastic. See, after a pause, they're seeing things different. Okay? Seeing things differently. They're just moving in. They're ready for a new beginning. So you see a communication coming in here. Nice. One more on that enthusiastic person who's in a hurry. Yeah, very loyal. This is someone very loyal. Now, this could be a friendship. Taking the next step in a special friendship. It has to do with loyalty. See, somebody wasn't loyal. Now, I don't know what's happened. There was an energy of someone who wasn't, but they're soul-searching, hermit energy. Someone got left out in the cold, feeling kind of lonely. But I definitely can see someone who's been very lonely and depressed, but now they're, they're choosing a new path. Okay. I'm not going to say somebody wasn't faithful. It's possible. But this person is definitely someone loyal. Okay. I see lo a lot of cards with loyalty here. And there, yeah. So I see gossip and talk. See? Somebody here is a lot of gossip, a lot of chitter chatter here with the chickens. That's gossip. Oh, it could be girly gossip, someone talking to their friends. <laughs> yeah, but it's energy of, of um, I feel there was some kind of confusion here. I, you know, I feel this energy of someone choosing their own path, choosing what's right for them, following their heart, not what other people tell them. Okay, friends. Sometimes this is, a, you know, feminine energy getting together, girl talk. Okay. 
Yeah, so there's definitely someone who was independent. Somebody who was possibly single. Yeah, I feel like if you've been single for a while, I, I feel it's an energy of someone claiming their independence. Someone here definitely needs to be a little independent, but I can see friends. Uh, like I say, girl talk, independent. But I feel it's uh, there's definitely this energy of the key, marriage and commitment. I feel like you got a person, oh yeah, there's the birth of something new. There it is. So this is news, good news, communication, a birth. Okay. Somebody may be, have gotten pregnant when they're single. Okay. The girls talking about it or just people, family talking, gossip. It's, the chickens is generally gossip in this deck. And it, I mean, it t totally resonates with me. But this is something new. The stork brings news of a, a marriage commitment of pregnancy. See, I girls talking. <laughs> yeah, see, something long term. Yeah, I definitely can see romance. And then we see the wisdom, someone being wise. See, someone's very wise to this. But I still feel like this person, okay, this very loyal, dependable, structured, disciplined person is somebody who's looking for clues, being wise. So it's a person who's following their heart, not what other people have to say, okay? They're not listening to any of this gossip. They don't care what anyone else has to say. QN. Well, let's have a look at the snake and we'll wrap this up. Capricorn, yeah, it's a fish. Someone's got some, there's some Pisces energy here. This is someone, that, this is a person that could be very nurturing. See, they're just going with the flow. Swimming upstream, though. The letter L and R. This could be places, locations, or people. Is the letter S and the letter I. So I just want to ask one more on the Hierophant. Yeah, so the letter F and T. There's a crown. Two crowns. Yeah, we got a couple. We got two people either coupling up or a married couple having a, a reconciliation. Now, there could be news of a pregnancy, okay? A child, maybe a younger child, you know? But there's definitely positive energy coming in. The stork brings good news. Yeah, it looks like marriage and commitment to me. <laughs> I actually have I've seen quite a lot of this uh, in my readings today. Um, but I also feel there's children involved, innocence, young children, okay, a lot of abundance and a lot of love. So I feel it's someone who's very dependable, very loyal, okay, very hardworking, someone who's planning, okay, someone who's got big plans. They know exactly what to do too. So lovely. They are definitely someone who kind of has been taking their time, but this shows me the abundance, where this person's headed, okay. They don't have a lot of money now. They certainly will, but they need, I feel this is someone who wants the support of a partner, okay? Someone who's loyal, they can rely on. Someone who's always there. And you see that loyalty. And you see, there's the cat and the dog, someone very independent with their, with their friends talking, you see? So, yeah, there's news of something here. Someone's going to reveal it. I'll just put those here and I'm going to pull out a couple of outcome cards for you. Capricorn. Let's have a look for some outcome or any extra messages for Capricorn. There we go. The giraffe thriving. See, it's an energy of thriving. Someone's thriving where they weren't before. There's very good news of something new. Now, it could be new work, bringing in more um, you know, more money, some kind of contract or negotiation. But there's definitely the news of marriage, births, okay, uh, commitment, someone putting their best foot forward, stepping into a new life, stepping into prosperity and abundance. So uh, I, I feel it could be someone just wanting to date too here. <laughs> As I see that, that cup, see, offering the cup. Yeah, someone here is definitely wise, yeah, keeping it simple, see, Blowing things off that no longer matter. It's somebody who's leaving. This is that energy of the clouds, that dark cloud's been hanging over someone. Okay, creating a lot of confusion, illusion, you know, some fear. Okay, well, it's lifting now. Somebody definitely has the key to someone's heart, though. You see that rose? <laughs> I also see a lot of romantic energy. Yeah, there it is. Purification, purity. 
See, this is the sun. The clouds are lifting. The sun is shining. Something new. Something borrowed. Something bright. What is it? Something. Oh, you guys know. I, I don't remember how it goes. Something borrowed. Something blue. And something new. But there's the sun. It just popped into my head, but I don't really remember how that goes. So there it is, purification. It looks like it could be a big reconciliation here. But others of you, there's somebody new coming in, okay? And this is where it could lead. So there's the fulfillment, being fulfilled. You see, the clouds are lifting. Someone's feeling emotionally fulfilled. There's a lot of abundance and prosperity. So it looks like a decision to commit marriage. But it has to do with someone looking at whether something is right for them. And it has to do with being fair and committing. Okay, there's definitely a commitment of some kind here. If you're looking for work, yeah, you definitely could have someone um, bringing you work. Yeah, there's the gateway. That's come out a couple times for a couple readings already. This is an opportunity. This is somebody very strong, very capable, taking this opportunity. See, it's taking those gateways, the open doors. So, okay, so it looks like a lot of prosperity. Whoever this is, is bringing abundance. They're coming in. This is an energy of, often I see this as moving and relocating to some place where it's more prosperous. Maybe where there's more jobs. Okay. But it's an energy of someone who wants someone to have faith in them. In the path that they're on here. So, but I see a union between two people and I see someone shedding things that no longer serve. See, shedding that skin with judgment, releasing it. So beautiful. This is actually a feminine energy, believe it or not, in this deck. This is actually considered a feminine energy. See, shedding and leaving. It's time for some kind of change. Someone's releasing and healing, letting things go. And it could be people, friends, people who gossip, talk too much. Okay, but I feel it's leading towards this beautiful new energy. Take care and we'll see you soon.